Hey guys, it's Lexi. Welcome back to another video. This week we're going to be talking about all things jeans. I myself am a jeans addict and I have so many pairs of jeans. Let me show you. If you didn't believe me before, you'll probably believe me now. All of this section is just my denim and I am very, very obsessed with jeans. Basically, I just really enjoy a good pair of jeans and it is like my lifelong mission to find out what the best pairs are. So today I wanted to share with you guys my top five favorite pairs of jeans and then also what my top five favorite brands for jeans are. Jeans are my everyday wardrobe staple so whatever pair I decide to incorporate my wardrobe has to be pretty much perfect especially when you have so many options let's get into things and i know the perfect place to start my absolute favorite go-to place for jeans is the feel studio inc and i have three pairs of jeans from them this brand only has one style of jeans and if that tells you anything it tells you that they do one thing and they do it really really well they have a black wash, a blue wash, which I have right here, and then they also have a white jean. I am looking to add that into my collection, but for now, I'm going to show you what I have. So the first pair I have is just a pair of basic blue jeans. These are like your everyday jeans that you just want to wear every day. <laughs> I mean, that is what a pair of everyday jeans is, right? These are in two different sizes. I'm typically a 26, but I got them in a size 27 and a size 28. The 28 is for like when I want a baggier, looser look. And then the 27 just fits me perfectly. These are as good as it gets in terms of jeans because they fit like a pair of vintage 501s minus all of the work of having to find a vintage pair. I love these and they are the most amazing jeans ever. I've changed into a plain white shirt and some flat shoes. As much as I would love to be wearing heels to make my legs look longer, um, we're going for flats today so you can see how the jeans actually look with an everyday pair of shoes. So, as I said before, this is my absolute top favorite, most worn pair of denim from Feel Studio Inc. I'm wearing the size 28 right now, and I'm going to throw on the 27 because there is a slight difference, and I want you to see. By the way, I'm usually a size 26, so in Feel Studio jeans, I have to size up because they're not as high-waisted as a, a typical pair of jeans that I would be used to. Alright, here we have the 27. As you can see, it just hugs my butt a little bit more and also my thighs. I like this pair when I want to feel sucked in and nice and tight in my jeans. It sounds really weird, but I think you know the feeling I'm talking about. I didn't mention this before, but the Feel Studio jeans come in a long size and a regular length. I'm wearing all of the regular lengths, but I know I don't have long legs. I want to try the longer length of their denim just because I am a fan of when you're wearing sneakers and the drop of your pants like comes over your shoe a little bit. So don't knock off the longer lengths in jeans. Just because you're short, they can come in handy for certain styling purposes. Now for the Black Feel Studio jeans. I love these very very much they make me feel very chic and very cool it really is the perfect 501 kind of fit and i think they look really great so if you only wanted to get one pair of jeans from this video i would recommend these i feel very much french when i wear these jeans i don't know why but i love them the next brand that I want to talk to you guys about is Goldie. These jeans are pretty amazing. It's a great brand if you are into thinner denim. So when I think of the Feel Studio, I think of 
more of a thick rigid denim that you need to break in and wear over time for example um, when you first get your field studio jeans there is like a little tag on them and it says that you should shower in your jeans so you can really get them to mold your body and uh, it kind of speeds up that process so go for the field studios if you really want a jean that molds to your body but if you want a pair of jeans that is already broken in I would say a Goldie is your best bet. Now I have two pairs of jeans from a Goldie, the 90s pinch waist, and then the ones with the crossover fly. This is my favorite pair, so I'm just going to show you this one today. I think with this pair, there are just so many styling options. It's a very cool girl, easygoing kind of fit. For the sizing in a Goldie, I size down one. I find that everything runs a little bit big and also these stretch out a lot during the day when you wear them. I'm never really able to wear these jeans more than two days in a row just because they do stretch out so much over time and that's the same for the 90s pinch waist. But if you are looking for some very flattering jeans that are good quality and more on the thin side, I think a Goldie would be a great option for you. Here are the Goldie jeans. As I said, they're very cool. They're very easygoing. Got a loose leg. And the main detail that really shines through here is the asymmetrical fly. They have some like little ripping details that make them look a little bit more lived in. These jeans are like your lived in, cool girl, effortless kind of look. I love these jeans in the summer with a little crop top and then more so in like the winter, fall with like a baggy cardigan or a baggy sweater, just playing into like the easygoing vibe of the pants. My favorite place to go to for darker denim is Silver Lake. Oh, I'm very, very particular when it comes to dark denim. I don't like a wash that looks too blue. I want something that's so dark it's almost black. So I love this pair of jeans. It is the London style. I would recommend any of the London style jeans from Silver Lake. I haven't tried any other styles, but I love this pair uh, very much. So I wanted to include this in the video because I do have a hard time finding the perfect dark wash. And for me, the copper details on the jeans are such a hit. Going back to the try on portion, I'm wearing a pair of Silver Lake jeans right now. As I said, it's the perfect, really deep, dark wash of denim, and they're very cool. There's a little bit of contrast stitching, but not too much that it goes overboard and distracts from whatever else you're wearing. So earlier I was talking about shades of blue that I like in a dark pair of jeans. This is not my favorite wash. It's not my go-to wash. In contrast to the pair that I'm wearing, they're both a very dark blue, but this one is just darker. Like when you hold this next to the pair I'm wearing, they actually appear black even though they're a navy. This kind of jean is not my favorite in terms of wash. These are the Kasubi jeans, in case you're wondering, with like the split detail on the side. Also a great pair and also a great option. Definitely a runner up for all the other jeans I've mentioned so far. I'm feeling like this video is a little bit all over the place. I'm forgetting to mention details in jeans that I find important. For example, if the fly is a zipper or a button, all of the jeans have a zipper fly, which is not really my preference besides the Field Studio jeans and the Agoldi jeans. Those have a button fly and typically a button fly is more expensive to make. And for me, it just makes the jeans feel like they're higher quality than a zipper jean. So that's really my preference is to have a button fly, but also, you know, sometimes you go to the bathroom and you forget to zip the fly of your jeans and you can't really forget when you have a button fly. So that's just another little added pro. Speaking of colors that everyone needs to have in their wardrobe, I think people also need to have a pair of gray jeans. This is one of two pairs of gray jeans that I have. This is definitely the lighter uh, one that I have. So I've already mentioned three pairs of pretty classic jeans, but I also wanted to include pairs that are a little bit more trendy, but um, I still think will stand the test of time. This is a pair of jeans from Off-White. 
they have a balloon leg and they kind of curve on the side but you'll see that in the try on i think these are the ultimate cool girl jean I like the butt pocket because it's different than most jeans the baggy jeans they kind of cycle in and out of trend don't get rid of your baggy jeans if they start to fall out of trend in the next few years i would keep them around this pair of off-white jeans is great to invest in uh, the shape of the leg is very unique and if you're out on the streets it's most likely that nobody else will be wearing what you are wearing yeah these ones are very very fun and they add a lot of versatility and styling to your wardrobe. The first more trendy pair of denim that I'm talking about, here are the off-white banana leg jeans. They sit lower on your hips than the other pairs I've shown you so far. And they are so incredibly comfy, it's almost like wearing a pair of sweatpants. You don't feel like you're wearing jeans. I don't know, I'm just like, hey, what's up? That's how these jeans make me feel. The final pair of jeans that I want to talk about is a bit, again, kind of a trendy pair, but in my eyes, not really. This is a baggy, a low-waisted jean from Mason Margiela. And these are very, very cool. A very, very cool girl jean. And I know I've said that several times, but honestly, if I saw anyone in these pants on the street or just anywhere in general, I would want to be friends with them. These are my holy girl jeans in my wardrobe. I love them very, very much. There's really nothing else like them on the market. And that's what I like so much about this pair of denim. They are on the thinner side of things. I would say this is the thinnest pair uh, that I've shown you so far, but the fit is amazing. They are very, very interesting. The pockets add a lot of detail. I think these jeans, like the previous pairs I've just shown you, have a lot of styling versatility. They can be the main statement of any outfit, and these dress up or dress down so well. It might not be obvious upon initial look, but you can wear them with heels or with a blazer, um, with a t-shirt and sneakers. There are just a lot of things that you can do with these jeans stylistically. So if you're really a fashion girl or guy, I think this pair is a must have in your wardrobe. Now for my favorite pair of jeans, and I understand that not everyone is going to love them, but I do. And I think they're fun and unique. Definitely not something everyone has in their wardrobe. And the pockets, they come up to my wrist. So they're deep, they're useful. We love a good pocket like that. Yeah, here are the jeans. Definitely the most low-waisted of the pairs. I'm not usually a low-waisted jean kind of girl, but these are definitely it in my book. And if you are on the street, you will definitely not be wearing what anyone else is. I do have to say they're quite long. Um, in these flat shoes, I'm kind of stepping on the back of them a little bit. That could be a concern for some people, like maybe I need to get them taken up a little bit, but I kind of like when somebody really wears their jeans in and they kind of drag on the floor and then the back of the jean gets rubbed a little bit so then you have like those cute little worn in kind of frays. I love when clothes look lived in and I'm excited for this pair to kind of age a little bit more um, as I keep wearing them. Now that we're on the topic of trendy jeans or just jeans with a twist, I wanted to throw in some other options that I've been eyeing online and thinking about that I don't have to show you physically or try on. They're just very cool jeans. The first pair I've been thinking about is another from Off-White. They do a lot of jeans with a twist. And the pair I'm talking about specifically has holes throughout the leg of the jean. It's kind of like Swiss cheese but on a jean. Initially, a few years ago when this style came out, I thought it was a bit too trendy for me, but I've been thinking about them for a few years, and I think the way things are going in our world stylistically, they will stand the test of time. Cutouts are really big on tops right now, and they have been for quite some time, so why not bring that trend into our jeans? You can wear a cutout top with your cutout jeans. Mason, Margiela, Jeans with the cutout on the side and the big legs. Another very, very cool pair of jeans. 
that I have my eyes on. Then one final pair that I want to mention that I am just drooling over is the Terry Mugler jeans with the striping panels all throughout the leg. These jeans are absolutely gorgeous. I think they would look great with a pair of high boots or even sneakers. Alrighty. Well, that is all I have for today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing some jeans. Maybe you saw some new pairs or some new brands that you haven't heard of before. I'd love to know, just as a denim addict myself, what kind of denim is your favorite? Like, do you like thick, rigid denim? Or do you like thinner denim? What are your favorite go-to brands? And what kind of styles do you like? I just want to know it all. <laughs> yeah. So... That's all for today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.